Hello everyone. Welcome to this session, which is all about Milestone 3. So, let's first understand what Milestone 3 is. This is a key ABDM building block that manages ABHA addresses, maintains links to health data for each ABHA address, and manages the consents provided by users for sharing their health data. It also supports the exchange of interoperable health data between HIP, health information providers, and HIU, health information users. The HIECM, Health Information Exchange Consent Manager, enables the exchange of personal health data with consent, as per the health data management policy issued by the NHA. Milestone 3 focuses on HIU and developing services that allow healthcare workers to view a patient's medical history with complete consent. To give an example, let's suppose a patient visits a doctor who is an HIU. The doctor needs to view the patient's data, so the HIU doctor sends a consent request to the patient for a specific time range and HI types. The patient then receives this consent request, which includes the time range and the types of health information the doctor wants to access. The patient has control over the process. They can Modify the date range Change the HI types Choose the facilities they wish to share data from Once the patient is satisfied, they can either grant or deny the consent. Even after granting consent, the patient retains the option to revoke it later. If the consent is granted, the doctor, HIU, will be able to view the selected health data within the chosen parameters. In this session, we'll walk through this entire process using Postman. But before diving into that, let's take a look at the sequence diagram to understand the workflow better. In this sequence diagram, there are two main entities, the HIU application and the ABDM gateway. First, the HIU sends and request in it consent request to the ABHA address for a specific time range and health information type. After making this API call, the HIU receives a response via the consent request on in it API with a consent request ID. This ID allows the HIU to check the consent status by calling the request status API to see if the status is pending or granted. Once this API is called, ABDM will send an on-status callback to update the HIU on the status. When the patient grants the request, the HIU receives a notify callback with the consent artifact ID, and the HIP also receives a notify callback to initiate the data transfer process. Following this, the HIU acknowledges the status by calling the onNotify API with an OK status. Afterward, the HIP calls the Fetch API with the consent ID received in the notify callback, and the ABDM gateway responds with onFetch, sending the HIU all relevant consent details, including the patient reference number and facility name. Next, the HIU sends a request via the Health Information Request API, passing the consent ID, date range, and data push URL where the HIP will send the data and the key material required to encrypt the data. The HIECM then sends an on-request callback, after which the HIP directly transfers the encrypted data to the HIU data push URL. Note that in this part, the HIECM is not involved in the data transfer as the data is sent directly to the HIU. Finally, the HIU uses the Health Information Notify API to inform the ABDM that the data has been successfully received. Let's see the flow in Postman now. The first API we'll look at is the Request Init API. This API is invoked by the HIU to initiate a consent request to access patient data. In the Authorization tab, provide the authorization token. Then, in the Headers tab, include the Request ID, Timestamp, and XCM ID. In the Body tab, enter the following details. 
Purpose Specify the purpose for the request by passing values such as care management, break the glass, public health, healthcare payment, or disease specific healthcare research using the appropriate codes such as care MGT, BTG, public HLTH, health payment, DSRCH in the code parameter. These meta codes are relevant to HIU when requesting and exchanging health information. To know more about these codes you can refer to M3 documentation on Sandbox website. Patient ID. Provide the ABHA address of the patient to whom the consent request will be sent. HIU ID. Enter your facility ID. HIP and care contexts. Set these parameters to null. Requester object. Pass all the necessary details of the requester. HI types. Include all seven HI types, prescription, diagnostic report, OP consultation, discharge summary, immunization record, health document record, and wellness record. Permission access mode, set this to view only. Date range, define the date range within which the doctor needs access to the patient's data. Data arrays at Specify the date after which the HIU will no longer be able to view the data. Once this API is called, the HIU will receive an on-init callback, which contains a consent request ID. The patient will then receive a consent request, where they can choose to grant or deny access. The patient has control over the date range, HI types, and specific records they want to share. After granting access, they also have the option to revoke the consent at any time. First, let's review the on-init callback. Here, you'll receive the consent request ID, which allows you to check the status of the consent, whether it's been accepted or not and in what state it currently is. Copy this consent request ID and use it in the next API, the consent request status API. In the consent request status API, Enter the consent request ID received from the on-init callback. In authorization, pass the access token. In headers, include request ID, timestamp, XCM ID, and XHIU ID, which is your facility ID. When you call this API, you'll receive an on-status callback, where you can see that the consent status is in the requested state. Here, in the PHR app, you'll see a consent button on the right. Click this button to view the requested consent details. Once you are on the consent page, select View Details. Here, you can see the date range, all seven HI types, the consent validity period, and records within the specified date range. The patient has the option to select specific records to share with the HIU. The patient can also edit the date range, HI types, and consent validity period if needed. After making changes, simply click Update Consent to save them. Now, let's proceed to Grant Consent. After granting consent, both the HIP and HIU will receive a notification callback. And here in the webhook you can see that we received the notify callback. So now first copy the consent request ID and check the status by hitting status API again. Now check the on status callback again and here, you'll see that the status is now set to granted. After receiving the notify callback. Copy all consent artifact IDs and the request ID from the headers. Open the on notify API. For authorization, pass the access token. In headers, include Request ID Timestamp XCM ID XHIUID which is your facility ID In the body, set the status to OK and include the consent IDs and in response request ID pass the request ID received in headers from the notify callback. This API acknowledges the notify call, so after this, the HIU won't receive further callbacks. Next, 
Call the Consent Fetch API to retrieve consent details. Each call to this API fetches details for a single consent artifact ID. So repeat this process for all five consent artifact IDs as received in the notify callback. For authorization, pass the access token. In headers, include request ID, timestamp, XCMID, XHIUID. In the body, include the consent artifact ID. In the on fetch callback, you'll receive details like the HIP facility ID, facility name, and all granted care contexts. Repeat the fetch API for each remaining consent artifact ID. Now, proceed to the HIU Health Information Request API. For this API, in authorization, pass the access token. In headers, include request ID, timestamp, XCMID, XHIUID. In the body, pass. Consent ID from the notify callback. Date range from the on fetch callback. Data push URL where you want to receive the data, using a webhook URL here as an example. Key material for encryption, including expiry date, key value, your public key, nonce value. After calling this API, the HIP will send data to your specified data push URL. After hitting the request API, the HIP will receive an on-request callback. This callback will include a transaction ID with the session status set to requested. You will also receive a callback from the HIP containing encrypted data. Copy the encrypted data, transaction ID, care context reference along with the key value and nonce provided by the HIP. Note that if you are not receiving data from a facility, the issue is likely on the HIP side, not the HIU side. In this case, the error will indicate that the HIP is not responding. Now, let's proceed to decrypt the data. I'll open the decrypt API. Here's how to input the required parameters. In receiver private key, enter your private key. In receiver nonce, use your nonce. For sender public key, Use the key value received in the HIP callback. In sender nonce, enter the HIP nonce. Finally, in encrypted data, paste the encrypted data received from the HIP. Once set up, we'll use this API to decrypt the data, making it readable. You can now see the decrypted data in the response.